Welcome back to my channel. Today's review will focus on Monster Hunter World. It was one of the most popular, if not the most popular, games at Gamescom. So why is that? Some facts first. Monster Hunter World is an upcoming action RPG developed by Capcom. The game will release on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. A PC version will come later on. There's no specific release date yet, all we know is that it's coming early 2018. The reason why it's getting hyped is because for the first time since 2006 Monster Hunter is coming to PlayStation and it's coming for the first time to Xbox. Monster Hunter 3 and 4 were both exclusively on Nintendo consoles. The difference between Monster Hunter World and its predecessors is that for the first time ever, players from Japan as well as from Europe will be able to play together. Monster Hunter World can be played as a single player game only, but there is also a new function that allows other players to join you if you struggle with a certain quest for example. This way up to 4 players will be able to defeat a certain monster. Now a bit more about the gameplay itself. It was my first time playing Monster Hunter, so I didn't really know what I expected. You start off in a camp where you can alter your weapons and armor. Here you could also get your first quest. This is also the place where you spawn when you die. However, before I wanted to do the quest, I decided to just explore the world of Monster Hunter. I have to say that it looked vast and rich. There was so much detail and the world just looked alive. I even encountered some friendly monsters that were just walking through the valley. The game itself is really beautiful. Next up I tried to get on with the quest. It wasn't easy to find a place I had to go because I struggled finding the right path. Although it's open world, especially this map was a bit intricate. Eventually I found the place I had to go. Now I had to find all sorts of clues in order to find the beast I was looking for. By doing this other monsters attacked me and I had to defeat them. Defeating the actual monster I was looking for was so difficult, I didn't manage to do that in 10 minutes. I probably chose the wrong weapon because the one I had was very slow and I just couldn't move fast enough. As I said before, you can only change your weapons in the camp so I couldn't just change that during combat. What I can say about this quest is that it was really, really difficult. This is a quest where I would have requested help from other players. It was also the hardest quest in the demo. What I can imagine is that you really have to take care of your skills, weapons and armor when playing the final game. As I said, it was by no means easy. All in all, I can say that I really enjoyed playing Monster Hunter World, the game looks nice and gameplay was fun as well. What do you think about Monster Hunter World? Have you played any Monster Hunter games before? Also make sure to check out my other Gamescom reviews. If you like this one then please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.